everybody, this is Delonica L. McDonald and welcome to another show on AFTV5. Hey, you guys are sitting here and you're wondering who does Delonica and Jennifer have on the show today? Well, I'm going to let Jennifer, my co-host, introduce our guest and let me tell you, I hope you went and got your cookies, your milk, your chips, whatever it is that you need to eat. I hope you went and got that already because we got a good show lineup for you today. So today we have with us the awesome pleasure of introducing you guys to someone you absolutely need to know yes. uh, within our community <laughs> here. Um, her name is Miss Elvie Schooley. So thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Hey, oh, thank, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Jennifer, for having me at AFTV5. Absolutely. Yes. Now we want you to introduce yourself to our cameras and just say a little bit because you do so many amazing like we were talking off camera and she is so amazing viewers I know you're jealous of Jennifer and I <laughs> because we get to spend time with the lovely Miss LV oh. but you know hey you guys follow her on social media but I'm gonna let you take a moment to just tell our audience a little bit about who you are and what you do um, hi there my name's LV Schooley uh, I am a licensed master social worker and my specialty in my field is community development and nonprofit work. I have a program that's called DRUM, the program. DRUM is an acronym for Drum Rhythms Unification Movement. It is a cultural arts program that focuses on education through art. And the goals of DRUM are to build self-esteem, create cultural diversity awareness, um, and to focus on preserving the folkloric arts from West Africa. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. So tell us a little bit about how you got started. Like, your, your world has come full circle and is so much to you. You've uh, engaged with so many people on a different level. But take us back, Miss Elvie. Tell us, like, how did this all start for you? When did you realize, you know what, I have a gift to people to help navigate people into more of a healing place? Um, I started studying Guinea West African dance 10 years ago. And I literally felt like um, I crawled into life. And once I really began to feel my my sense of confidence around mm -hmm. the art form, mm -hmm. I realized that it had changed me. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it had changed my view of myself. Um, as an African American woman, mm -hmm. I had those years ago, I did not have the self love that I have for myself now. Mm -hmm. I did not have a sense of confidence. And once I started studying this art form, it gave me my connection to a positive history as an African American. Mm -hmm. And now I honestly understand what it means to be African American because I embrace my African cultural ancestry. Mm -hmm. And the dance form and the drum form and the art form, it's powerful. Mm -hmm. it, moves and shakes you physically, spiritually, yes. emotionally, wow. and all of that was just almost as if God was ringing me out um, to give rise to something new. Mm -hmm. um, and once I came to a place of my understanding around the art form, I completed my training with the um, National Dance Institute out of New Mexico mm -hmm. to work with children on um, teaching excellence and I also got the blessing from my master dance teacher Mustafa Bangura of La Bagatai in Conakry, Guinea, West Africa. Mm -hmm. And so I had to create a access point for those who I come in contact with in order to tap into this art form to ignite a passion so that the next generation can mm -hmm. step in, start learning, get set on fire mm -hmm. with this the way I am, 
and then the folkloric art can continue mm -hmm. to yes. live. Mm -hmm. And so drum the program became my baby after that. Wow. And I have created access points that are platforms for youth, um, adults, and those platforms include drumming, dancing. Um, I also offer cultural awakening, which mm -hmm. is a access point for Black History Month, mm -hmm. where I give a historical timeline of the music and dance from West Africa that came with the slaves and how the music and dance transformed from its traditional folkloric where it was denied and how it went on to become embraced with our Negro spirituals mm -hmm. and how it gives rise to all of the different genres that make up our musical background in this country because mm -hmm. all of those genres are heavily influenced by African Americans. Mm -hmm. And so I give a positive history about what it is to be African American and focusing on music and dance. And I tell the story, I connect the dots mm -hmm. and give honor to all of those people who were instrumental in that contribution. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I, when I hear you talk, it's just that I, you carry yourself in such an illuminated way that it's, it's almost as if it's so hard to see you at the beginning stages of this whole, this whole creation. But it, it, it gives me hope to know that you're putting place for a reason. There's a, a strong, you know, assignment on your life to empower and and I know I keep going back to young women because off the camera you guys you know you <laughs> wasn't here but we were talking about this and so and I, I feel like that you give young women hope you give mothers hope you know fathers hope because sometimes in this generation we're we're wondering you know is our generation lost and I, I love the fact that you are helping through drumming dancing and then you're 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 speaking to the inside and you're empowering and I love it so tell me about your first show as drum the program yes yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, the very first show that drum the program did after it was launched was with the Bethel AME Church in San Antonio mm -hmm. um, I asked that they trust me give me one opportunity and I would produce for them a positive outcome. Oh. Uh, I asked for one and a half hours to work with a group of kids and I gave them goals set and outcomes that I would meet mm -hmm. and in that hour and a half time I worked with 12 youth members in the church. Mm -hmm. I have a team um, at that time I worked with two drummers mm -hmm. And the kids showed up, gave them a drum, I taught them a song, I gave them all of the history of the folkloric art that they would be learning. I made sure that they understood that Africa is a continent. Mm -hmm. I, they understood the country Education. in Africa <laughs> in which they were learning the music from. Yes. They also understood the region that the music came from and the ethnic tribe that mm. carries that tradition forward. That's good. And they also learned to play the drum of that particular rhythm. Amazing. And I promised and I delivered and those kids went on stage at the 11 o'clock service and following that performance it was during um, Black History Month in February of this year. Mm -hmm. It was so wonderful because the pastor finished off that sermon with giving the history of what I had brought. Mm -hmm. And I, we did not collaborate. Amazing. He did that on his own, knowing that I would be present there working with his youth. And following that, 
they asked me to come back and then they paid me nicely. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, was, it was a blessing and so those youth will be on stage in San Antonio on July the 16th oh, at the wow. Soul Saturday um, on the Hayes Street Bridge. Oh wow. Performing once again and it's just wonderful to work with a community of people who value what you do mm -hmm. and who are hungry for what you do yes, and appreciate yes, yes. the amount of professionalism mm -hmm. that I bring to the table mm -hmm. uh, around drum and dance and I make sure that everything that I do and delivering of service comes with outcomes that are meeting educational requirements, mm -hmm. TEKS, STEM, mm -hmm. STEAM, either one, mm -hmm. um, but everything that I do adds value to the learning process of the youth. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to let Jennifer ask her questions because I could see Jennifer over there. Jennifer is like, <laughs> let me get my questions in because you are so amazing. Jennifer, go ahead and take over. So we were talking a little bit beforehand. Uh, we have a habit of doing that. We can't yes. help it. We just dive right in and then we're like, oh, turn on the camera. <laughs> yes. uh, but you were talking, you have such a peaceful presence. Yes. You know, just to put that out there, yes. you just seem so at peace with yourself. And then it's probably coming from the fact that you really know you're making such an impact in the community that has to give you yes. just an immense amount of happiness that you can't get from anything else um, but I, ha I have to think that some of that also comes from your home life you seem to have a very interesting home life also that probably attributes to some of that you're you're a little bit as you called it backwoods but I don't think everybody <laughs> would right. call it backwoods I'm from Alabama everybody <laughs> would call that backwoods I'm sure but <laughs> But, um, so could you tell us a little bit more about mm -hmm. that, like your home life and your acreage and things of that nature? That's so awesome to hear about. Sure. Um, I live in New Braunfels, Texas, which is about a 35-minute drive south of Austin. I live on uh, about five and a half acres of land. I have chickens that are laying <laughs> hens. I raise meat chickens once a year to stock the freezer. We raise them from babies, um, so they're always, there's nothing that goes into that that I don't know about. <laughs> um, so it's all organic. I have peach trees, pear trees, apricot, ah. apple, figs, and... Um, don't ask me for her a, address either. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big, a big greenhouse that I have a garden in, and right now the, the most prolific thing that's coming out of the garden are blackberries, mm -hmm. eggplant, and lots of fresh herbs, and blueberries, and I also have honeybees. Oh wow! So there's this sense of balance around. The ecology mm -hmm. in which we live I in. Love it. Uh, we have a pond in which we raise fresh bass, um, sunfish, and crappie. And we once I catch the fish, me and my husband, we put them in a, a system that's called the aquaponics system. Mm -hmm. They live in that system until it's time to eat. Wow. And the water that the fish live in is part of a process that also helps to fertilize the root system of plants that are living on top of them. Mm -hmm. And so the aquaponics system is a very balanced way in which you can grow herbs and um, any kind of vegetables. And so once a, like just last night, fresh fish from the pond, doesn't that sound great? I know. <laughs> Doesn't that just sound yes. awesome? Yes. I mean, we go to the grocery store and we look for these organic snails you and know. everything. You go to your backyard and yes. fish. It, yes. And you don't have to look for the labeling. It's, yeah. you, it's yes. in your mind. You know it's there because you raised these animals, I these love creatures from the end. That is it. so awesome. It takes a real skill because yeah. I can be a plant killer. We already talked about <laughs> this. So. 
Look, I have mad respect. Sniffer. It's not just putting something <laughs> in the ground and make it and letting it go. Like there's a lot of care that goes into it. So I give you a lot of props oh, for yes. being able to pull Thank off you. such that on such a large Gosh. scale. So you do have some events that are coming up. So we want to make sure that we talk a little bit about those and give the viewers an idea of what's coming up for Drum the Program and you what's coming up for yes. you, Miss LB, also. Um, so on June the fifth. I also perform with the West African Drum and Dance Ensemble, Bramaya. Uh -huh. This is our fourth annual Africa, Austin to Africa fundraising event at the Sahara Lounge on Weberville Road. Mm -hmm. And the funds from this program, uh, the fundraising, will go to support the village of Bramaya in Guinea, Conakry, West Africa. Mm -hmm. Our artistic director is Abu Sila who's amazing. Um, within um, Burmaya, I am a dancer and also a drummer, mean dun dun drum dance. Um, so that's June 5th, and like I said, the program that I will be hosting a kids as performers in July is uh, July 16th in San Antonio at the Soul Sunday, Soul Saturday event, excuse me, Soul Saturday event on July 16th at the Hayes, Hayes Street Bridge. Okay. Mm. And I recently, thank you, was awarded a contract with the city of Austin oh, wow. to start Yay. teaching. Yay. Absolutely. Congratulations. <laughs> that is awesome. You know, I, I love working with kids. I love working um, within the community. But I really love dancing. Mm -hmm. And I really love empowering others to dance with this passion inside of them. Wow. And so this contract that I just completed the entire process, which was cumbersome, with the city I of Austin. <laughs> I love how she just said that. <laughs> Such grace. Um, with the Parks and Recreation Department, um, I will start a teaching a African dance technique class at the Rosewood Duffy Center off of Pleasantville and um, Pleasant Valley and East 11th and East 12th. Okay. And the actual date, start date of that, um, you'll have to just tap into the Parks and Recs Department to find out. Mm -hmm. But the class will be an empowering experience. Um, it's not focused on learning choreography. Mm -hmm. Choreography has its place when you have acquired the skill. But I want to empower my students to dance techniques and to learn to move in such a way that when it's time for you to dance choreography, you, you can, can dance, dance choreography. Mm -hmm. You can go through that process of changing and movement. But I have found over the years that when you learn techniques, that gives you a foundation of confidence. Mm -hmm. And within that, then you can build. And I don't, I always want my students, anytime that I have platforms that I'm teaching from, to walk away feeling confident mm -hmm. and empowered by the experience and never frustrated. Mm -hmm. Because learning a new art form is like learning a new language. Mm -hmm. And it takes time for you to understand how to even hear the language mm -hmm. and then to articulate the language in your body. So it's coming. It's I love it. Well, well, before we close out, can you please let our viewers just share a couple tips if they're, if I want to say um, for dancing, how to really get the best out of um, self-healing through dancing and then if you would end it with sharing your information of how people can contact you okay um, dancing dancing stirs up a lot of emotions mm -hmm. our emotional memory of our life experiences are housed in the muscles mm. in the fascia the connective sheath in our body mm -hmm. and dance moves, shakes that up, stirs it up. So all of these things around 
our suffering of our past comes up and you have to have the ego in a place that doesn't operate to limit your capacity mm. where you don't want to continue the process of learning because you're not you're judging yourself in such a way uh, I, I don't do it the way she does uh, I can't do that mm -hmm. or whatever that negative talk is but dancing is a way in which you can express yourself and for me it has been the most healing mm -hmm. experience to realize that not only am I a dancer, mm -hmm. I am a West African dancer, mm -hmm. and it is a part of my genetics. Mm -hmm. And I am thankful to God mm -hmm. that I am connected to something that it resonates within me naturally. Mm -hmm. And the drum, the drum is a part of the heartbeat, wow. the heartbeat of each of us. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you can find Drum the Program at drumtheprogram.org mm -hmm. on the internet. Um, Facebook under LV Underwood. Mm -hmm. That's my other name. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, you can check out um, on YouTube, Drum the Program. And I would also like to share with you my positive affirmation. Definitely. Yeah. We were waiting for this. <laughs> so the positive affirmation, affirmations serve to change the thought process in which we tell ourselves subconsciously. Yes. So the affirmation that I teach from is all-encompassing, and it focuses on the individual. Mm -hmm. So... Do you guys want to do it sitting, or would you like to stand? We we, we, we could stand. Yes. We, no, we'll let, let you, we'll let you yes. lead us. It's best you that tell we us. stand. Okay. <laughs> Did we just move these back? <clears throat> yes, that's fine. So, this affirmation is called Drum the Program, Positive Affirmation. We are here in Austin, Texas. Yes. I go first and then you go. I have self-respect. I, I have self-respect. My culture is unique. My culture is unique. Community is unity. Community is unity. Diversity is cool. Diversity is cool. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you are you. so amazing. Thank you. thank you. I love it. Hey, you guys, you have to follow Miss Evie. Please, drumtheprogram.org. www.drumtheprogram.org. This is Delonica L. McDonald and Jennifer Beckford, and we'll see you next time.